With Fire and Sword is a new game in the Mountain Blade franchise. It takes place in Eastern Europe, a uh, very dramatic and romantic war between Poland, Russia, Ukraine, the Crimean Khanate, and Sweden. Um, it's the 17th century, and in that time period, uh, gunpowder became part of warfare. So we're uh, going to be experiencing some really interesting scenarios uh, pitting the old technology versus the new technology. We responded to players' requests to make a Mountain Blade game that's based in history because players get attached to their own countries. So uh, it's very fun to pick a side and steer the course of history. Well, my favorite feature in, uh, with Fire and Sword is the new troop system. It's something that I've always wanted to add. Um, it's something that the fans have always wanted. So we've added buying troops from mercenary camps and you can really get in nitty gritty and customize everything about them. Their gloves, their boots, their horses, long range weapons, short range weapons, helmets, armor, all of that. And it adds a really personal feel to it. So it's kind of like playing dress up, you know, with your G.I. Joes or your little action figures. Um, and, well, if we have some nice lady gamers, maybe Barbies with battle axes, that's always good. And we put in castle and town customization, so you're really making personal, really valuable properties in the game and your army. All of it makes you more attached to and want to fight for what you have. So the single player campaign in With Fire and Sword has been vastly expanded. We've got uh, different storylines to follow with each of the factions and um, there's a lot of replayability in that sense that you can choose some very interesting faction like Poland who's at war with everybody and have a completely different experience compared to playing uh, Moscow, uh, the Sardom of Moscow, which is very powerful to begin with. Multiplayer is even better than Warband. Uh, we're using the Warband engine with, with Fire and Sword and uh, we're able to get a huge count of people on screen in the servers at the same time. We have a really awesome new mode called Captain Mode. And Captain Mode is where it's team deathmatch, but each player has control over uh, squads of bots. And you can give them orders, and you can buy the exact squad that you want. You can buy Janissaries, you can buy Winged Hussars, you can buy uh, you know, guys with two-handed swords all that kind of stuff, and you can see who's got the best tactics on each team. And it's gonna be three to 24 bots per commander, and we've got about 14 on 14 per side. So um, yeah, it's, really, it's gonna be really cool. Uh, and then also, we've got about 12 new maps, um, really good variety of them, you'll be fighting in a marketplace in, uh, in Russia. We've got huge siege battles, all sorts of things, even a swamp map. Um, so there's a really good variety of maps to play in with Fire and Sword. Players are gonna feel uh, overwhelmed and also overjoyed all at the same time because they've got so many options and everything is so fun in the game, customizing your army, trying out the new tactics, trying out the new technologies, um, getting involved in the storylines, all of that. So it's, it's a familiar experience, but yet completely new at the same time because of all the nice features that are in multiplayer and single player. So uh, overall, With Fire and Sword is a great experience, even if you've put in hundreds of hours into Warband already, uh, I think you'll really enjoy it.